Hello everyone. Let's get on with this question of XAD 2018. X and Y are the digits at the units place of the numbers 408X and 789Y where X is not equal to Y. However, the digits at the units place of the numbers 408X whole raised to power 63 and 789Y whole raised to power 85 are the same. What will be the possible value or values of x plus y. The question talks about the units digit. I am sure all of you know from the basics that we discussed in the class that the units digit will always repeat after 4 powers whether the cyclicity is 1 as that of 0, 1, 5, 6 which means that the digit repeats after every step therefore it's bound to repeat after the fourth step as well. Likewise, whether it's a cyclicity 2, that is of 4 and 9, which means it repeats after every second step. If it repeats after every second step, it's bound to repeat after every fourth step as well. So, whether it is cyclicity 1 sort of digits, or cyclicity 2 sort of digits, or cyclicity 4 sort of digits, the units digit always repeats after every fourth power. So, I'll just write the relevant part of the question. The unit digit of 408x whole raised power 63 will be the same as the unit digit of x raised to the power 3. Obviously, I am writing x because none of the 408 part matters at all. How did I get the power 3? Well, I divided 63 by 4 and found the remainder. 3. That means there will be 15 complete steps of 4 cycles each after which there will be 3 steps left. So the unit digit of 408x whole raised to power 63 will be the same as the unit digit of x cube and the unit digit of 789y raised to the power 85 will be the same as the unit digit of y raised to the power 1. In other words, the unit digit of x cube is the same as the unit digit of y or y in itself because y is a digit. I need to think of these cases and I need to find the possible value or values of x plus y. As y is a digit, if y is 0, then which digits cube ends in a 0? A number which itself ends in a 0 but that's not possible because we know that x is not equal to y so this case is eliminated. Now if y is 1 then which digits cube ends in 1 that is 1 but then x is equal to y so again we will have to eliminate this case. What about if x is equal to 2 which digits cube ends in a 2 that is 8 8 cube is 512 and now 8 and 2 are distinct so this case must be acceptable likewise 3 7 cube ends in a 3 343 so this case is acceptable 4 well 4 cube is 64 so again x and y become equal therefore this case is unacceptable 5 5 cube is 125, so unacceptable. 6 cube is 216, so ends in a 6, so unacceptable. 7, 3 cube ends in a 7, so this case is acceptable. 2 cube ends in a 8, so again this case is acceptable. 9, as 9 cube is 729, again x and y become equal in this case, so unacceptable. So I have exhausted all the cases of y and we notice that only 4 cases are acceptable when y is equal to 2 or 3 or 7 or 8. The corresponding values of x plus y will be 10, 10, 10, 10 which means that x plus y cannot take any other value except 10 hence the answer should be 2. Thank you.